Well, thanks, guys. Um, you know, it's a great win for the Aggies. Uh, I thought we played really well from start to finish in a lot of different phases. Colorado State's a very good team. They put a lot of pressure on you in a lot of different spots on the offensive end, and you really got to be on point um, with how you're guarding um, them. And, you know, fortunately for us, they, they missed some clean looks that we were fortunate did not go in, and we need to address that and be tighter um, with that going into the game on, uh, well, I almost said Saturday, but I guess that'll be on uh, what day? Okay. Thursday. Um, but thought we played on point, was really excited with how we defended, specifically the first half. Um, um, and then we really moved the ball, shared the ball, um, getting to be able to get 20 assists um, against these guys, I think is a great um, uh, compliment to, our, to the guys on our team. Um, and so I just thought we had a good balance with an inside game, a middle game, and an outside game on the offensive end. So, you know, obviously Brock was able to go six for 10 from the three. Thought we hit some timely shots um, while they were making some mini runs that, right, that way. So really was happy with how we moved the ball and shared the ball. Uh, because like I said, they're very good. And, uh, and now we gotta be able to bounce back on a quick turnaround and play our fourth game in eight days and, um, um, and find a way to take care of business. So with that, we'll open it up for any questions. Well, just to shorten the game, I mean, we're up by 20 or whatever it was. Uh, I don't know the exact number, maybe a little bit more. And, um, you know, at that point, you just got to take the air out of the ball, so to speak, and shorten the game. And obviously, we didn't have great possessions there. You'd like to score a little bit more. Um, on that, but uh, at the same time, don't turn it over. Try to eliminate them, you know, getting out and getting some free ones because, I mean, they shoot the three at a high, high level, right? Number 10 in the country, um, I think in three-point field goal percentage and 24 in the country in maids, or maybe those are flipped, but um, just got to shorten the game. You got to play a lot of different ways in this conference. There's so many different styles of play, and I mean, when you you know, just look at who we've played so far. I mean, Air, uh, San Jose plays uh, uh, their style, which is different than everybody in the league. Air Force plays um, the Princeton offense, which is actually somewhat similar to Colorado State in the half court. Um, but obviously, Colorado State has a ton of weapons, um, and they're way more athletic and way faster, uh, and so they can kind of put bigger runs on you. Uh, New Mexico plays a completely different style than anybody else. San Diego State is, I mean, different than us, but probably their style is a little bit more like ours. And um, and all these guys. So there's so many different styles. You're gonna be able. To, you got to be ready to play any style that's thrown out there. And we like to get out and run in transition and and get easy baskets when we can. And uh, and we we had a few of those. I thought especially the first half. Were we able to take advantage of some of that? But got to be ready to play any style of play uh, on any given night. And so it's a little bit different this year because you don't play a different team every night. You know, you go back to back. And uh, like I said, it'll be a great challenge because they're a, they're a very good basketball team. Well, guys executed well. Um, first of all, offensive rebounding, um, you know, that's, that's a will thing, right? I mean, that's... Um, that's um, make up your mind you're going to go to the glass type of thing and we were fortunate to be able to get some of those um, obviously Kata with four Bean with two Brock even had a couple off of longer rebounds and Trevin didn't play a lot of minutes but he got two offense rebounds in four minutes uh, of the game so and then we were able to execute underneath you know for some for some clean looks and our guys took advantage of it. So sometimes, you know, every game's different that way. You can go through a game and have three out-of-bounds plays, and then other games you have a little bit more. And so um, I thought our guys did a really good job of executing them. Sometimes you get clean looks, but you don't make them. And tonight, for the most part, we were able to, to knock a few down. Well, we, we thought we had the potential. Yeah, we thought we had the potential to be. Um, we knew we had great size. Uh, you know, obviously, when you got a guy like Kata, the, the things that he can do and and Trevin Doris has improved in a major way and he's a big man so you have great rim protection and the ability to really patrol the paint and um, and then you throw in a guy you know Justin Bean and 
Alfonso Anderson, that's a big time front court. Um, and so, and then, you know, Marco Anthony is a very good athlete. And so then it was going to come down to, and Brock Miller's really stepped up his game and our freshmen have done a great job. So um, our guys have committed to that end of the floor. We felt like we could be good, but we also knew it could take some time. And you saw that the first two games, you know, where we weren't very good defensively. Well, I shouldn't say that. the second game we weren't very good, but the first game we were solid, but we had so many turnovers. So we knew we had a chance, but it's just when you have as many newcomers as we have, you just, you never know how it's going to all come together and, and more so when it's going to come all together uh, because we felt like it would come together. It was just a matter of, of that time. So our guys have really bought in to that end of the floor and, um, and it's been showing. Our guys have done a great job of approaching every game. And I know this is a cliche answer, but each game is its own entity. Like we enjoy this one till midnight tonight. We're back at it tomorrow. And you got to have a workman's like mentality. Nothing is ever given to you. Um, game by game, just because you play well one game, it's not like you get the, uh, what is it? When you sell insurance, you get the, like, w we, when you get the automatic renewal, if you do a good job, like, you know what I mean? Like, you don't just, because you won one game, get the win the next game. And we, we know we got to keep sharpening our saw and keep chopping wood and keep getting better. So, um, it's it's just a one game season every every game out. On him. Well, Brock's a good player and he's improved. He worked hard this summer on his game, on his overall game. He worked hard on, this summer on his shot with some tweaks, and he put a lot of time in the gym. Uh, he's he's a better athlete. He's bigger and stronger, um, and it's showing in how he's playing. And so um, he's been a very consistent player for us all year, and. Um, you know, he's a weapon out there. He's a good player. So he's making better decisions as a whole on the offensive floor. He's did a heck of a job on the defensive end. And obviously when you have the ability to shoot, you know, you stretch the defense, you, you can stretch the defense out. Um, and so he's been fantastic. He's been steady Eddie. Our, our four juniors have really been consistent for us and have gone from the, the, uh, being underclassmen to upperclassmen. And they're doing it with how they play. They're doing it with their voice. They're doing it with their consistency. I know every day what we're going to get when, I walk, when we walk into the practice floor, those four juniors are going to be very good. And some other guys too. But I'm just saying that's specifically, you know, that class.